Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm exhausted. <laughs> my son has been sick. He's been clinging to my hip. Um, I've missed a couple days of being out here working and today he's starting to show a little bit of improvement. So I snuck out here while he was playing with my husband and told my husband to text me if he started hollering for me, which I think he's doing okay. So I'm gonna work as much as I can out here today, probably like it just an hour or so, just to, you know, do a little something. But I wanted to do a really cool video for you guys. I'm gonna show y'all how to do a fall themed plaid tumbler hack. So I'm all about tumbler hacks, I'm all about water slides, and I think this is gonna be really pretty. So here we go. For this tumbler, I am repurposing a 20 ounce skinny straight sublimation tumbler that I messed up. So I painted it white from Rust Oleum and the glitter that i'm going to be using i'm going to be doing a tack it method and then a water slide right over it and then i'm going to see if it's possible which i don't see why it wouldn't be i'm going to try to put a water slide over a water slide without epoxy in between so let's see if this works for the glitter this is zeus from the glitter grind this is one of their new ones it is like a rainbow so super pretty i tested like a little piece um to see if i think it would look right and i think it's stunning so i'm gonna do the tacket method which is something i have not done in a while and i'm really excited so this is aline's tacket over and over you can get it from the glitter grind i like to put mine in a cup and mix it with a little bit of water just to kind of dilute it and, and that's just how i have always done my tackets i think a couple times i might have just taken it straight from the bottle um but i like doing it this way better so with all that being said let's get started so it really doesn't take much at all and i am almost out i I think I might have another one in there. I don't know, I hope so. I'm gonna be making another glitter grind order. And I just have a little bit of water in one of my cups here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit and start mixing. So once it's at the consistency that I'm happy with, which is about the consistency of Mod Podge, I am going to start applying it to my tumbler. And this is the same makeup brush that I use for Mod Podge. And I'm just trying to put on a very thin coat. That's why I said I should be able to get away with the little bit that I had. And I am actually going to let this dry. And if you've ever worked with Tacket over and over before, um, you know it's not actually going to be dry. It's always going to be tacky. But I am going to let it get to that point. And then put on a second layer just to make sure I have everything covered. Okay, so now that I have two coats of Tacket on, it is very, very tacky all over. I'm going to cover the entire tumbler in this glitter called Zeus from the Glitter Grind. And this is such a pretty, like, rainbow fine glitter. It's what, like I said, it's one of their new ones. They have a ton, 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 ton of new glitters. So make sure you go check them out. I'll have their link down in the description. And now I'm just gonna set this to the side just long enough to put all of this glitter back into the container. And now I'm going to take a couple fingers and just very gently rub this glitter flat onto the tumbler. And if you've never done this before, there's gonna be, you know, a bunch of it that falls off. That is normal. I'm not applying a lot of pressure, really just the weight of my hand laying on the tumbler. And now you can really see the shift of what happened with all of that glitter. And your hands will be super pretty afterwards as well. So yay. Okay, so now you can see it started off as like this really pretty white sparkly glitter and now it has this rainbow holographic effect. It's gorgeous. So this is gonna be the base for our water slide. 
Now, this water slide image, I'm going to do a full wrap. The first one, it's going to be a full wrap. And I got this image off of Etsy. I just went and typed in like fall color plaid SVG or something like that. And this one came up and it had like 12 different ones for like $2. And they were like all different colors. So this is the one that I am using today. It is like a more neutral color. I went to an app on my phone. I have a video about it. I'll have it floating up here somewhere. But I went to an app on my phone called Print to Size. You can also do this on Microsoft Word if you do not have an iPhone with the app Print to Size on it. And if you look back at my clear water slide on a dark cup um, hack, you'll see what I did to kind of make a clear water slide into a white water slide and that's what I'm doing here because I want some of the sparkle to come through but not too much so I took the water slide and I sealed it sprayed it white sealed it again I will put the link up here for anybody that has not watched that and I will also put a link to my full water slide wrap hack video um like I said I'm all about hacks so now I've just got my water slide soaking in the water over here. I'm going to let it soak until it is completely ready to wrap around the tumbler. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell it on camera, but there is just a little bit of sparkle coming through, which is super pretty. So now I'm gonna see if this is going to work. So the second um, water slide that I'm using is also from Etsy and I've printed it mirrored. I've already sealed it. Super cute, it says hand-picked fresh, uh, what is it, farm fresh pumpkins. Um, pumpkins, gourds, and apples open daily. So it's really super cute and I'm gonna try to put this over top of the other water slide image here without adding epoxy. I've never done this before. If you've done this and you're like, duh, Courtney, it works, or like, duh, Courtney, you can't do that. Um, you know what, just let me learn. Let's see, let me experiment. So normally whenever I would put a water slide decal on, just like a small one like this, I would put it down, my, the, the tumbler down on my cup cradle that I got from Bama Cups, um, just to ensure that my water slide goes on straight. But I'm afraid to lay this down on anything, being a fresh water slide. I don't want anything to like rip it or just ruin it in any way because I feel like it went on pretty darn good. And I really don't want to mess that up. So... This has been soaking and it is good and ready to go. So I'm just gonna stand my tumbler up, pick a spot that I like, and see if it will work. So, okay, there we go. So this turned out super duper cute. I'm now going to put it on my turner back here from Bama Cups. And I have these super cute little like holographic leaf shaped glitters. These are from the Glitter Guy. Um, I've had these, oh my God, forever, like a year and a half. And that's all I've used of them. So um, I'm going to put this on the turner, put some epoxy over it, and then just sprinkle the leaves in like little random places. So the next day and this is what we have i love the simplicity of it um but at the same time it's perfect it's just super duper cute i really love how the plaid turned out and overall i just think it's a really nice cup i'm going to take it to my vendor event that i have coming up at the end of this month it seems like the epoxy kind of just like maneuvered itself around the tumbler self-leveled and went over top of all of these leaves but i am going to add one more coat just to be safe but other than that this cup is done before I go, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, when you have a dream, you've got to grab it and never let go. That was said by Carol Burnett.
that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!